Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse 2 won't be swinging into cinemas later this year unfortunately, but it's not too big of a delay. In December 2021, Sony and Marvel revealed that the sequel was called Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. While we're still getting a two-part sequel to the Oscar-winning first movie, the title has changed a bit to just Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse and the threequel will be Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse. To go with the title, reveal we also got our first look at the sequel in an exciting teaser that sees Miles Morales reunite with Gwen Stacy before battling Spider-Man 2099 across several universes. Production started on the sequel back in June 2020 and as far as we know, everything is on track for the sequel to swing into cinemas in June 2023, and this teaser has proved it'll be worth the wait. The producers of the first movie, Christopher Miller and Phil Lord, have written the script for the sequel along with Shang Kai's David Callaham, while the directing trio is Souls Kemp Powers, Joaquim Dos Santos and Justin K. Thompson. So, what can we expect from Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse? Here's everything you need to know. No, no. Good. <sighs> I missed you too. Okay. Into the Spider-Verse 2 release date. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse was going to be released in cinemas on October 7, 2022 which, as previously mentioned, was a slight delay from the originally scheduled release of April 8, 2022. However, the film has been pushed once more, Sony has revealed that Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse will be released on June 2, 2023. Animator Nick Kondo confirmed on June 9, 2020 that production had begun on the sequel, so barring any more delays, we can be hopeful that it will be ready for that June 2023 release date. Producer Chris Miller has already been teasing what we can expect. The development of new groundbreaking art techniques being done for the next Spider-Verse movie are already blowing me away. It's going to make the first movie look quaint. As for when we can expect Spider-Man, beyond the Spider-Verse, the release date has been confirmed for March 29, 2024. Into the Spider-Verse 2 cast, Shane Kimmore and Haley Steinfeld are set to reprise their roles as Miles Morales and Gwen Stacy, respectively, and they won't be the only stars from the first movie to return for the sequel. As the teaser trailer confirmed, Oscar Isaac will be back as Miguel O'Hara, a Spider-Man 2099, following his appearance in the first movie's post credit scene. Luna Lauren Velas has also confirmed she'll be back as Miles' mother Rhea, telling ComicBookMovie.com in June 2021 that they were in the process of doing the sequel and she also teased a wonderful story arc for her character. If Velas is back, we can also assume that Brian Tyree Henry will be back as Miles' father Jefferson Davis, while Jake Johnson revealed in July 2021 that he's returning as Miles' mentor Peter B. Parker. I would like to know what happens with Peter B. Parker. I think the way his journey ended in the first movie was very open-ended. He explained. And so, when I got word that they were working on a deal and figuring it all out, I thought I truly can't wait to see what the writers came up with. I'm curious to see what his home life is like. It's also been teased that Katherine Hahn could be back as Doc Ock in a bigger role, and we also know that Issa Rae is in the sequel. She's rumored to be voicing Jessica Drew as Spider-Woman. But this has yet to be confirmed. Into the Spider-Verse 1 Plot Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse is an origin story that knows it is an origin story and recognizes, at this point, you're tired of Spider-Man origin stories. It features Peter Parker handing the ropes to Miles Morales but not before featuring various other Spider-People and their backstory. We get Gwen losing Peter, multiple Peter Parkers losing someone, and Spider-Ham's backstory. Pretty much everyone had someone who died and this led to them taking the Spider-Person role seriously. Miles is no different. However, perhaps the thing which does help Miles be unique isn't just because he is Afro-Latino or listens to hip-hop, but because he feels sort of disconnected from the rest. When is Peter and all the different versions of Peter live out the same story, with slight differences? Miles' story is of the ilk of most modern remakes. They take this classic character, change his ethnicity but, unlike so many which do swaps like that, they add in a sense of culture. Thus, making Miles seem made to create a new and noteworthy character rather than to cash in on what is accepted and respectable. Into the Spider-Verse 2 Plot when Sony confirmed the sequel's title, they also released the first official synopsis for Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Miles Morales returns for an epic adventure that will transport Brooklyn's full-time, friendly neighborhood Spider-Man across the multiverse to join forces with Gwen Stacy and a new team of Spider-People to face off with a villain more powerful than anything they have ever encountered. Could that villain be Spider-Man 2099 after he's seen battling Miles in the teaser? Surely not. We imagine it's somebody we don't know about yet. We do know though that the full story isn't going to be told in the sequel as it's been confirmed to be a two-part event. 
Miles' story is an epic. Lord and Miller told EW in December 2021 of the decision to split into two movies. We wrote what we thought the story needed to be, and to our surprise we realized it was two movies instead of one. We're working on them both as we speak. The duo was tight-lipped about what that story might entail and whether we'd see the likes of Spider-Ham, Spider-Man Noir, Penny Parker again. Miles will reunite with some old friends and meet. A lot of new ones, they teased. As the teaser has shown, Gwen has found a way to reunite with Miles in his universe. So that opens the sequel up to further crossovers from both old and new characters.